We can't go up there. It's far too smoky. A little thanks. 
I'm trying, but it's hard to figure out what all the symbols mean. Do you know any of them? Only a few. Take the hourglass, for example. Its first meaning is obvious, time. But it also has a second, deeper meaning, death. That's not too hard. Knowledge. I already learned that one. Okay. That makes sense. Try it now, with this apple. So, if I see something that matches a symbol from the alethiometer, I might be able to understand a new meaning. If I can ever focus for more than a few minutes without getting sick. Lyra, I don't want to feel sick anymore. Can we go talk to Jerry? Hello, Ness. Is there anything you're doing I can help you with? No, but I bet there's something I can help you with. After your run-in with the gobblers in London, I thought you could use a few lessons on self-defense. Ooh, like karate? I've always wanted to learn that. <laughs> Not exactly. More along the lines of how to avoid people trying to collect the GOB's reward. Ready to do a little sparring? I could use one oh, of these. Oh, Lyra. There's no need to use that on me. <laughs> Whoa. That's it. Not fair. I'm just trying to help. That's it. Not fair. I'm just trying to help. So keep that up and they'll never catch you. <laughs> I knew I'd get away. <laughs> Be careful. Don't let me catch you. Hmm. Look. Fair. Which to choose? I'm just trying to help. <laughs> Whoa! I can barely. Ah, nicely done. Ah, nicely done. Now you've got it. <laughs> I knew I'd get away. <laughs> Do you feel any better? It's definitely helping, but my head still hurts. I guess I could do something else.
Father Coram said you might have something to make me feel better. I was hoping it was more like some medicine. Oh, boy. Sounds a bit fishy to me. What are you doing over here? Sure. See, me and Deanira was exploring since we never been on a ship this big before. But she got tangled in the rigging and now can't get down. And you can't leave because she's up there. She's got to come down sometime, but we've already been here going on an hour. Pan and I could help you, couldn't we? Of course. I certainly wouldn't like to be stuck up there. Quiet! Do you want us to be the laughing stock of the whole ship? <laughs> this isn't so bad. Certainly is a far cry from the luxury of Mrs. Coulter's flat. I'd swab a thousand decks with my tongue before I'd go back to that awful place. You don't need to tell me twice. I've had enough of being kidnapped for one lifetime. So, should I borrow some clothes or...? or... Well, Mark Oster did say I was deceptive. I need 